Hi, I'm back again with another um, sort of craft with me video of uh, my planet journal. So I didn't finish off uh, Verona in the last video, so I thought I would attempt to do so now. And I forgot that I had this lovely postcard as well. Um, so let me just show you what I've done on my other page. So I went ahead and did some writing on it. I stuck the date down, put a little t um, label there, done my writing. Oh, I keep gluing that down. It doesn't stick. Might have to put some washi there. So let's do that. And um, yeah, so I've done my writing. I did a little bit of embellishing, bit of washi tape here and there. And I, in this page, I just used the same one because I seem to be wanting to use the same two, these two. Um, and so I've done my right. I stuck a little piece of really old, brittle paper there. I've done a little bit of writing on my photos here and there. I wrote about the story about mum, so that's never forgotten. And that's that page. It's sort of going backwards, isn't it? And so now I'm going back over to this page, and I need to do work on this here to put the rest of Verona in. Even though it's backwards, it doesn't matter, because we were only there for... Um, one full day and then the next day we just had breakfast and left so it doesn't really matter so I forgot about this so I'm thinking I could put it here on this page as a flip up or I could put it here as a flip up now I was going to stick down this photograph here so why don't I do that and I had thought before I found that I'll show you what I, th I was thinking I am now managing to tear my double-sided tape. So let's see. So when my, um, you can see this photograph here, um, when they printed out with the um, bad colours, I didn't waste the paper because it's um, the good quality paper. I just turned it over and printed on the other side because it's going to, they're all going to be stuck down somewhere anyway. So let's just stick this um, photo down on this page that I prepared before. This video should be much faster. Okay, so we'll just put that one down there. So, and then I was going to put, this was the card from our hotel. I'm going to put that there and I'll have to use the tape because I don't think the glue stick will hold it. Lulu is not participating today in the video because she went to a sleepover last night with three of her friends and they didn't go to sleep as you do when you're 12 uh, until 4.30 in the morning. So she is a little bit tired and a little bit grumpy today. So I'm leaving her be. She's lying on the couch watching YouTube. Well, I think she's actually watching a movie on her iPad because I told her I was going to come and do my exercises um, with the TV in a minute when I've done this so have to get fit by 50 right so I was going to stick this one let me just stand up otherwise I go crooked and I have to get my big arm in the way I'll just stick that there that's it great I think these journal things are um, these journal planner things are fabulous Right, and then I had all these other photographs of Verona that I've got one, two, I've got, I think I've got five that I still wanted to include. I didn't want to cover up Italy there. I could stick something there like that. Um, or this one. I could stick something there, could write there. And this was the other one. That could be nice. I kind of like that one there. And then there was this one. But now that I've got this, what am I going to do with that? So I could put that there as a flip up. But do I want it to flip up? I don't really, I don't really want that, I don't think. I could stick it here. I kind of liked it over there. But then if I flip it up, I've got to write on the other side. I could put a series, instead of filling up all this page, 
just could put one more. I could um, put this here and then flip it up and have the those photographs there. That could be an idea. The other idea, which would have been cool, was I folded over just a piece of scrap cardstock that I had, and I could have um, collaged some fabric, uh, some fabric, some paper on there, and then slipped that in the pocket and stuck the photographs on there. That was the other option, which I kind of really liked that idea. However, I would like to put in my big postcard. Hmm. Hmm. This is an issue for me. Uh, I think I'm going to do the flip up thing. So what I need to do is cover this bit. I think I'll stick that picture down there. Although that goes with that one and that one. They would all be good there, wouldn't they? Maybe I'll put this one. Yes, it was a cute prosciutto shop um, in Corso, Corso Anastasia. Um, and it, it just had such a pretty old shop front. So I'll stick that down there. I mean, my washi page is such a mess anyway. I can seriously, if it's not the first thing you see when you turn the page over. And you can see how these books really do become really thick. I mean, I have taken out so many of the pages that I had left in originally because otherwise the book just won't, it'll be explode by the end of it. Because I like putting in all these flippy things. This is something that we will do another time. So what I need to do is collage here. And I'm thinking I'm going to use some of my nice, a little bit of my nice printouts. And I'm just going to trim down the edge here. And I'll trim off here. and here and then I'm going to move my book out of the way and I'm just going to put glue all over the back of the postcard I didn't have much time to find nice postcards but the places that I did look there wasn't very much choice I must say I was pretty disappointed with the postcards but this was the nicest one I found so I only bought one thank heavens because then I would have felt like I needed to put in more postcards and I would have been having to make more flip outs to fit them all okay so I like that I'll just trim that off okay easy peasy and I'll just um, well I do need to glue more but I don't where's my little oh here it is so my little um, wipe had um, dried up so I just went and wet it again I need to pull out another one okay that's nice and clingy let's dry it give it a good dry I love that now what else will I put on here so that's the top. So that's the top. So it's going to be attached like that. Um, now I need to attach something else. And I don't think I want to. Well, I could. Now my staple is here in the way. Um, I could attach a bit of that. Yes, I think that would work because really. Um, I'm going to be covering it up with um, mostly photographs anyway. Unless I would like to see just... No. No, I think I'll do that one. Can't wait to use this old door that I photographed. Sounds crazy, I know. Okay, so let's just glue this part here.
So I'm just, I'm just going to put that there. About there. And then you see if you do it like this, you can see exactly where you have to trim it off. So I'll trim it down that way first. And then I can go and make it neater. I did have some other pictures I could um, I could um, print out. I didn't print them all out if I wanted to do that taggy thing. So that's okay. So now where are my photo? Oh, I've lost my photographs now. Oh, they're there. Okay, so let's put... This is the restaurant. And I had another one. Where's the other one? Oh, oh, where's it gone? That one, that one. I had four. Let me stand up. Let me stand up and find it. There it is. Okay. So, kind of like that one there. I mean, they might not all fit. Let's see. Maybe I'll only put those three. Put that one there. I'll put those three because then I can write a little bit about the, the dinner. Yes, that's what I'll do. I'll put those three there. And I think I'm just going to use... I clean here? Yes. I'm just going to use my double-sided tape for these. Try to go as fast as I can. It's really great. I, the other great thing about this wonderful, genius idea, thank you, Gina, if you ever watch me ever again, I don't know, um, is that, you know, like... Especially when you're really busy, you don't have much time for, and you're not. A, I'm not a journaler, and I'm really, and I really wouldn't. I couldn't add journaling. I'd like. I love the idea of journaling, but I just at the moment I just couldn't add that in. I would like. I mean, I still have to catch up on project life stuff as well. So, um, and I haven't done that. So um, I'd like to stick that there. Um, but yeah, the thing, great thing about this is, look how um, quick this is. Like. I've been able to, this was probably, you know, the most exciting thing we've done because I've mostly been working all of August um, and my husband has been on holidays but um, I haven't been able to do much with him. He's just been doing things with Lulu and then we do things in the evening. Um, but, so, you know, but if I had a journal like my Australian one that I still have to get onto, um, maybe I'll do an, an hour video on that next week. Um, if I had to just, you know, keep up with a, you know, full-on journal like a lot of people do, which I totally admire, I just would never do it. I'd always be t continually behind and just totally feeling like a disaster because I couldn't get it done. So this is, for me, not being a journaler is just the perfect option rather than having to sort of worry about working on a full-on journal and um, it's just great I just love it because it's fast and it's a great way of keeping track of things of important things like you have to obviously be selective there's no fluffing about and probably in a in a, a full-on journal I'd be doing a lot of fluffing so I'm thinking I'll stick that other picture on the bag. And so this is going to be more of a visual sort of thing. I might write a little bit, but it's more of a visual page. I wrote most of the things. I might write, a, yeah, I might write a little bit more about Verona, um, about my friend Annabelle. We've been friends since kindergarten. And it's so funny because she lives in London. And uh, normally we don't get over to London too often. I have been, I went last time when Lulu was four, so quite a long time ago. My brother was living there, my younger brother. Um, so normally um, Annabelle loves coming to Italy because of the warmer climate. So um, normally I see her when she comes over here. So what washi am I going to use there for that? And I have to be careful 
Oh, you know what I could do? I might, I might just use, I'm just going to, oh, I don't have my sticky tape here. Well, I'll do it after. I won't stick it in now. I'm going to stick it in with sticky tape because I want it to be transparent. Or maybe you can wait a second while I run and get it. Sorry, I'm back. I got my sticky tape. It was in the kitchen. Oops. And I kicked the thing. Sorry. So I'm going to put sticky tape because that's transparent. And I'm going to just make it's not straight. And actually, I'm going to fold my sticky tape. Oh, I'm going to put it right on the edge. So probably best if I had stuck it to my card first. So I'll put it there. That's good. Now, what... Oh, dear me. Stuck it to my card. And I'm going to just trim off the excess at either end. Okay, good. And, of course, you're going to be careful that when you stick it, you've got your pictures. When you flip it out, they're facing up the right way. And I'm going to put it on the edge there. And fold, open out my flap, like so, and I'm going to fold it, and this is not such a simple task, and stick it on the other page, so you see it's transparent, it's not interfering with anything, which is great, fold that back up, okay, and then I'm going to obviously reinforce, you can't see, can you, um, reinforce it down here as well, and I'm only going to use sticky tape again because I don't want to cover up my washi page too long that piece doesn't matter okay and that is done and so I'll just trim off the excess and hopefully that will stay there okay so that is that and I can go back and write on there and that's good. And then over here, I need to see what to do with this one. And I could stick it there, but I don't really want to do that. I might stick it here. No, I think I'll stick it there. Yep. And I think that will be all. So this is a quick video. I keep looking at that lovely doily that I printed out. I keep wanting to put it somewhere, but I think this page has plenty on it. Otherwise, you know, my planner journal will last five months because I will have filled it up with too much stuff. So how's everybody else going? coming along with their planners? Um... One of my lovely subbies emailed me some photographs of the things that she's done, um, inspired by some of the things I've shown, which is it's always really a thrill for me to see what everybody else is doing, and her work is just beautiful. There we go. So, I don't know if that page needs any more. Um, so, what is this? This is August. I probably need to... Oh, I know what I had to do. Where is it? Received some gorgeous fabric today, so I wanted to stick this in. Where am I going to put that? <laughs> Who knows? I might have to do a flip out. Oh, does that peel off? No. Or I might make... What will I do with it? Hmm. Might have to make a flip out for that. Anyway, do you know what I do when I don't know what to do with something? Stick it in my pocket. So you can go in there and I have to think about you. Um... I really don't want to add any more sort of envelope flippy out sort of things on this page because we've got plenty going on here. That's my washi tape. So this is Verona. I'm going to write something here. Might write on that picture. I might write something over here on my flip out with the postcard from Verona. See there, I found a spot for it. And then this is a very busy page over here. And I'm really thrilled with it, actually. I felt like I was fumbling in the other video, but I'm really thrilled now with how it's turned out. Oh, I didn't... I, I added on this just... I had a little off-cut of um, 
one of my printables so I just put that in there and it's just I think you know just putting something like that there breaks up all of the straight lines that I had going on and that's why I think I liked that too and um, yeah so I'm really thrilled with that really I'm really happy with that so that's good so then I've left two pages here oh and you know what's happening in September really exciting is I'm going to Venice so I've got two pages there I might even need three pages for Venice um, at the end of September and beginning of October so just for two days two nights um, we're staying on Lido because we like to go with our car and you can park there and there's a really nice hotel there but um, maybe I won't draw I might have to draw up October I might even leave three pages in between October and September that's why um, I know Gina went through and she drew in all of her pages but I just you know I might need a few more pages between a month I don't know I might not need many pages between a month so um, like you know going to Venice I mean I go crazy taking photographs and um, so I might need three pages I think I'll have three pages yeah I'll have three pages I think for Venice then I'll draw October up because then you know you need to draw up October because the whole point of it is you're writing in things that are happening in the future anyway so that's what's going on um, in my planner not too much I still have to do these pa this page this one here but I wanted to do something fun there so I don't want to rush it rush it I have these things to sort out but um, they might just live there I think and I love that envelope. Did I put anything in there in anything in the envelope? Not yet. So there you go. Um, all right. Oh, I'm going to attach the envelope. That's what I was going to do. But I have to do something on the other page first. I could attach it now. Anyway, I'm just blabbing. I'm wasting your time. Okay, I'm going to go. Thank you for watching. Bye.